I've been going to a pool for 16 years, so it's going to be a kind of weird transition not to have to go to a pool and practice. So it's going to be taking a little bit of an adjustment. My mom never pushed us towards swimming. We just kind of gravitated there on our own. My oldest sister was nine. I was at the pool anyway. I was like, might as well swim. And so I just would do it and have fun and just kept going with it. Well, I've been coaching for 42 years, so I've had a lot of great swimmers that I have worked with, but I don't think none that is as balanced as what Maury is. She really has three balls that she's juggling. She's not only a good student as a nursing student, she has a 3.7 GPA in nursing, but she's also obviously a very good athlete. She's the epitome of a teammate that you would want, the epitome of who you would want leading your team. She's chased after a national championship, and I know that's something that she deeply wants. You can only control yourself in a race, so if someone's better than me that day, then they're better than me, and I can't really do anything about it. I'll be happy as long as I know that I did the best of my ability in the race, and if I get a best time, that's awesome. If I don't, then I still try as hard as I could. Count on three. One, two, three. Oh! Opening ceremony Tuesday was great. Got back, went to bed, getting excited for the first day of competition Wednesday. Woke up 2 a.m., started throwing up. <laughs> I spent my night in the bathroom and all day in the hotel. Um, it sucked. I mean, anyone who's ever had food poisoning or a stomach flu pretty much knows where you're at, especially that biggest week of competition. But um, just rested up and tried to be there for my teammates. And I ended up scratching a couple of events just so I could be there for the relays. And it was a little bit of a struggle and it was a little bit rough. But in the end, it was kind of a blessing because I got to enjoy the Nationals a little bit more because I didn't have to swim as much. She just was so superb doing the best she can and congratulating the people that were ahead of her and uh, the people that were faster than she was, still had a smile on her face. My time with Division Two has been awesome. Um, I really enjoyed the whole holistic approach to it. And I believe that the D2 experience has given her that and that she has had to juggle all the different pieces of her life with being a nursing major, with working closely with our Student Athlete Advisory Committee, and with juggling being a swimmer, which is demanding in itself. They foster great athletic competition too. Um, each year this meet has gotten so much faster. My freshman year I was uh, five minutes flat, my 500 got fifth. Right now I'm seated at a 4.57, I'm like 18th. So it's gotten a whole lot faster. I can't believe this is my last year of college. Like I still feel like I just graduated high school, but time flies, but I've really enjoyed what I've done. And I mean, any advice I can give to people is just enjoy what you have. You'll be amazed at how fast time goes.